chosen ones. They underestimated you. They underestimated you until God stepped in and God made you better. Ain't that crazy? How God came in and showed up for you? Despite how many people thought that it was cool to talk down on you? Because God said, I'm going to use you as my glory. God said, I'm going to use you as my glory. Ain't that something? People knew you were at your lowest. And they still decided to play with you. Play with your, your mind and your heart. They knew you were at your lowest. They knew you was working a nine to five job. They knew you was going through a heartbreak. They knew you, you were scrounging up money. They knew you were at your lowest. They knew, they knew you were in depression before you even knew it. And what did they do? People who you put your trust in, people who you trusted the most, what did they do to you? People who were supposed to have your back through thick and thin, what did they do? All they did was dismiss you. Every time you asked for something, every time you needed something, every time you said, hey, I need a couple dollars or, you know, it got to the point, chosen ones, where you was asking people for little stuff, rides and uh, can you take me here and uh, can you do this, can you do that? And all they would do is uh, dismiss you. <clears throat> all they would do is dismiss you, chosen ones. Didn't nobody have your back? Didn't nobody have the chosen one, the chosen one's back? God had to bring you out of this one. Cause nobody else was willing to help you when you were down. Nobody was even willing to have good, good decent conversations with you when you were at your low point. They didn't even want to fraternize with you. They didn't even want to, they didn't even want to talk. They didn't want to laugh. They laughed at you. They kicked you when you were down. This is what people do. And God had to bring you out of it. But God put you on a whole nother level, chosen ones. You're, 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 you're surpassing where you even started off at. Before you went through whatever you went through, Right? Everybody, they wanted to be around you when you were shining. Then when you went through a certain, a certain situation, people, they scattered like cockroaches. They didn't want to be near and dear to you. But guess what, chosen ones? God brought you out, but he also brought you on a whole nother level that a lot of people aren't ready to deal with. Because chosen ones, let me tell you one thing about people. They love you when you down and they hate you when you up. But this isn't about them, this is about your mission with God. You have a purpose, a divine purpose as the chosen one. You have a divine purpose as the chosen one. Don't let them come back around chosen ones because they plays you when you were down, when you were down to your last, these people were acting all funny and brand new. Don't ever forget they were acting funny and brand new. Um, chosen ones, this is a message to say, when God puts you on this whole nother level, when God puts you on this whole next level, remain humble. Cause let me tell you something chosen ones, your enemies, their haters, they would hate for, they would love for you to get cocky, to get boastful, and to get braggadocious when you get to this next level. Mm -mm. Excuse me. See, what they're not ready for, chosen ones, is a humble God or a humble goddess. They're not ready for it because guess what? You're gonna do better than them. You're gonna do 
better than the old version of you and more. And when you're ascending and when you're on this ladder and you're on this journey, being humble is the one ingredient, chosen ones, that's going to make you untouchable. Being humble is the one ingredient that's going to keep you uh, uh, propelling to the next stage, the next level. They can't understand humility because remember, they played you when you were down. They were very un unhumble and un unappreciative and ungrateful for your presence. They were very unappreciative of your presence. They very, they treated you like a dog. They talked behind your back like a dog. And this is what this is what they want in return. They want you to get um see Satan like when you fight fire with fire, so they want you to get mad. But you got better instead of bitter. They they hope that you got bitter. They want you to be bitter. You don't understand how hate works, chosen ones. People project hate they want because they're bitter. They want you to be bitter. But they see you getting better. So what does that create inside of them? They say, oh, no, no, no. We can't have the chosen one getting better. They did all type of stuff to you behind your back. Talking. Talking. Words are curses. They talking crazy about you. Yeah, man. He used to be this. She used to be that. They used to dress like this. They used to dress like that. <sighs> Chosen ones. But then when they see you shining again, guess what? You brought them back to that. You humbled them. You humbled them, but they don't want to be humble. So guess what? They're going to fight you on that. So Chosen ones, remain humble. Because when people talk about you like a dog... And then they come around and they're in your face. Karma is going to always catch on to that type of stuff. When people talk about you like a dog behind your back, but then smile in your face, they don't get away with that. They never get away with that. <clears throat> See, excuse me, chosen ones, I never talk bad behind nobody's back. This is what people don't fail to realize. I never talk bad behind people's back because... First of all, I'm the chosen one, so I don't got time to talk about you. And you got to recognize something. If I'm talking about you, it's because someone else brought your name up. Chosen ones, I never, ever, I never, ever talk about nobody. And, and so when you're the chosen one, you don't really care what people think. You don't really care what people are doing with their 24 hours. You just want your own 24 hours. But that's what they did to you. They they gathered up like cockroaches and talked crazy about you. And then they scattered. As soon as they see that the chosen one is back on, looking looking sharp, looking, you know, the chosen one, you have a lot of blessings coming. You have a lot of things coming your way. And a lot of people, they, they don't want to see it, but they're not going to let you know they don't want to see it. They're sm They're smarter than that. Chosen one, just because a person's in a situation, you don't know what they went through to get there. You don't know what, and this is me talking to the the, um, the karmics. They don't know what, what we went through to get in a, a bad position. They don't know what we've been through. They don't know what we've been through to, to elevate to the next level in our life. They don't know anything. So chosen ones, these people, this is why they're not humble because they act like they know everything. They don't know what we went through to get out of the situation. You got to pay attention to the words that people say. I always say, watch how people move. I always say this. I always say, watch how they move. Because they can say anything. Excuse me. They can say anything with their words. They can say anything with their words. But when you look at a person's movements, when you look at the way a person moves or, or don't move, you look at the way a person operates on a physical plane, you, you, you see signs and symbols that give you ideas and notions about what a person is feeling on the inside of them, chosen ones. 
And a lot of times, chosen ones, there's a lot of people out here that know how to cover up. They know how to cover up what they think. They know how to cover up what they feel. They know how to cover up. But like I said, also watch what they say because you got a lot of people, chosen ones, who are not even smart enough to do that. So then they'll go ahead and say a bunch of stuff to let you know right off the rip what they think and how they feel. A lot of people, chosen ones, are not good at hiding their intentions. They're not good at hiding what they think about you. They're not good at all. A lot of people don't have no skill in hiding how they feel. Then you got people who are very, very, very advanced in their manipulation. Very, very, very high tech in their ability to hide what they think and feel. So, chosen ones, like this video, comment, subscribe. S subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, yeah, man, like, chosen ones. Trust me, man. Y'all about to elevate to another level in front of these karmics. And regardless if they like it or not, you know what I'm saying? You just got to stay on your grind. Stay up, man. I'm going to see you on the next video, man. I'm out.